You know, you ever get that hot dog in the foil the next day? Oh, I love it. It's like the the bread's like part of the hot dog. It's not. It's not two things. <laughs> <laughs> TG forty one. Forty one. These guys. Alvin Kamara. What's up? <laughs> um. Hey, my my tickets are live. We're on sale. Uh, August second, Funny Bone in Columbus. August seventeenth, Summit City. Yeah, Summit City uh, Comedy Club, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Lit. August twenty second, Funny Bone in Liberty, which is just outside of it's, it's Liberty Township, but it's th- technically Cincinnati. All those are uh, on sale, available now. Um, so that's next month, and uh, I got a website now too. Links in official, description, official official Joey Molinero. You can get your tickets there. Thank um, God. Dude. All my bios, obviously, and then the description of the show. So see you there. I'm going. I'm going to all three. Oh, thanks, dude. I'm tailgating at all of them. That'd be awesome. But uh, yeah, yeah, dude. Go ahead. Wait a sec. I know we have to. We have to talk. We have a special guest in house today. Uh, our pals at Quack Daddy Donuts. You, uh, you guys who've been following me for a while, you know I have a uh, a great love for Quack Daddy Donuts. Worked with them, um, you know, the past couple of Mays. And our pal Andy came in. Oh, this and is heavy. Us, brought us some donuts. And, and I, coffee. Dude, I, this and coffee's coffee. so good. I might just drink it all right now, like and, water. And I haven't even showed Ben the donuts yet. I, I can't even look at them. All right, here we go. Here's a big reveal. Let's see if we can. I'll show you first, and then we'll show the camera. All right, all right, all right. All right. Oh! <laughs> Is that a cinnamon toast crunch donut? That's a CTC right there. What kind there. of sick... Oh my God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of mad scientist made this? What is this? Hold that's on, what we got it. Is this Fruity what, here, Pebbles? Hold on, hold on, oh, a Fourth of July one. Nice. <laughs> this is what QDD does, man. They're all cake too. Yep. Oh my you god. You know that we're cake donut bitches, and Andy got me some blueberry cake. Is that bacon? A, yep. That's the the maple bacon. So our Canadian friends. It's a special there for uh, old James Hinchcliffe, even though it is Fourth uh, of July this week. Canada Independence Day was this weekend too. So uh yeah, there you go. We appreciate the What's going on right here though? This whole That's sleeper blueberry, pick bro. right here That's with blueberry. The- oh. You know me. Blueberry cake's my favorite donut. So Andy always hooks it up. That top left kind of freaky too. What's going on there? The pink right there? icing with the Mhm. That's yeah, that's a that's a that's, a, that's like a watermelon. That's a night out where you end up at a place where you're like, oh, I didn't really expect to come here, but this is fun. Got to you know? drop the top. Can't let these sit out. Dude. I know. I know. I know. It's tough to, and <laughs> I've done interviews great with people. While we're, yeah. The box is awesome. It's the color. The color scheme is great. So quack daddy donuts. We love you. Um, Westfield. That's where you can find them. If you're in the indie area. And uh, Andy will take care of you. It's like I've told you before. It's like Subway of don't like. It's not like Subway. It's better than Subway, but it's <laughs> it's like you get there you and you can meatball. you can customize your own donut. You know, so you go and you're, oh, okay. you you start out and you have like the cake donut, and then you're just like, yeah, I want this and this and this. And you put it on paper, and then they're like, Whoop, there you go. I gotta go in now. Yeah, it's awesome. Like I'll take a foot long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Andy can make it happen, dude. Done a lot of things his way over the years, and throw he's made it a, happen. Throw so. me a donut sub. Oh, dude, how about that Brett Favre TikTok that <laughs> I sent you? That documentary. I wasn't going to, yeah. I, I didn't, last night it came up on mine, and I couldn't make it through it. And oh. then you, you sent me it, and I was like, okay, I got to watch this. Right this morning, we're laying on the couch, and <laughs> she was like, why are, you, why are you crying? Why are you crying? <laughs> POV, your mom watching the Brett Favre documentary. <laughs> They're drooling and I'm crying. <laughs> I know. It did kind of hurt a little bit. Dude, it was amazing. Yeah, I know. And then they had the... the I, did, I didn't even remember the Packers fans who literally had a funeral for Brett Favre, <laughs> even though he wasn't dead. We drove by a steakhouse and we burnt the place down. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> they had three... Uh, what are those? Uh, what are those cars? Oh my God, you're done already. It's that good. Wow. It's really... It's like that. Quack Daddy Coffee. Three of those casket cars for a fake Brett Favre funeral. That's what they did in, in GB. The GB Packers holding the funeral for old Brett Favre. Now you're on to coffee number two. No, we're not stopping. But uh, yeah, it was kind of moving. Honestly. Switch, switch to the He's like, I wanted to play whatever team was playing like the Packers. Packers. I was like, dude, Brett Favre. And then he goes, and then he goes, and the Vikings. 
play him twice. I was like, that's <laughs> kind of cold, Brett. Yeah. I didn't know he had it like that. I thought he was just like, yeah, let's play some, some pigs. Yeah, yeah. I just want to go out there and around. around. Yeah, no, no, no. That was very calculated for old BF. Just Dude, so you're at, you're at Taylor Swift. Oh, my God. Best Can we talk? Life. Best night of my life. Are you a T? Are you Swifty? Were you Swifty before? Like kind of on the low. So this is one of the fun things about marriage is that. Um, oh yeah. Yo, so can I, you got any extra bracelets? Well, well you got to trade me, bro. This you is wanna, how it goes. You want like, a you rubber gotta, band yeah. from Staples? <laughs> you want a you want a hair a hair tie from a girl that I dated <laughs> senior year of high school? <laughs> still got it. It's and purple. it still smells good. Um, so one of the fun things about marriage uh, is that you you know you you start to get into each other's interests, right? And some more than others, you know what I mean. And so, like for me, like right now, she'll go to Wrigley Field and have a good time doing that, and you know she'll go to Pittsburgh and go to a Steelers game because she knows I love that shit. And <laughs> you during she, a Steelers game, bro? Yeah. Nobody loves that. <laughs> She's probably like, I'm going to sit on the other side of the stadium. <laughs> Bro, Joey during a Steelers game. No one, no one. I was like, I don't care about anything in my life. Like Joey cares about the Steelers. I was like, I need to reevaluate my like interest and in everything, dude. Cause this is insane. <laughs> when we were at the Steelers Colts game, you get literally, there's a few times Ben was like, bro, stop. Because I'd be like, I'd be like, like yep, man, there you go. Canada I'm like, dude, it's second down in the first quarter. Like, it's not that deep. Really? <laughs> that shit was insane. <laughs> but I get it. I get it. Not really, but I get it. Oh, shit. Hey, it's a big part of my life, all right? And um, I've never just experienced Joey Steelers like that. But yeah, yeah I, can, I can see how. For, we went full on because the first time Ben experienced Steelers Joey was... <laughs> front row seats on the field. I kind of liked it. In, Maybe that in, in opponent territory, you know. Dude, sorry. it was Molinard for three hours. <laughs> I was like in heaven, kind of. <laughs> Just you were getting all the Molinard minutes because I was going off on Matt Canada's <laughs> play calling and, <laughs> like, and uh, not being able awesome. to get off the field on third down and dropping <laughs> punts and shit. <laughs> Dropping puns. Steven Sims. <laughs> Standing up and shit. <laughs> Front row. So you're like that around like Rye and your family at Steelers games? Oh, yeah. But like I keep it more. I keep it. It's honestly you're like like I keep it way more in check at the stadium because I'm like I don't want to make an ass of myself in front of people. Yeah. Like if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do it in the comfort of my own living room oh. when there's just me and Ryan, and my dad and mom. You know, like that. That's what I'm worried. That's where you really don't want to be around me. I like that solo me and you there because you were kind of letting loose a little bit. Right. So you, you know, I can. Yeah. But but I'm with you. You, on you don't want to see the in living room, you know, Sunday night football kicking over show. lamps and shit. We've dialed it back from that. <laughs> yeah, what's some, what's some thing you've broken? Is there something that you got pissed at when the Steelers like fumbled? Did you like break something? Um, <laughs> let's see. The, one of the things I obviously I wear a hat all the time, but I'm a big hat thrower. <laughs> against the wall Big just whipping thrower. that thing yep yep, yep. i'll you know because i'll get stressed out and so i'll do the move where i like you know take my hat off and like rub my hand through my hair but then i'm just like <laughs> throw the hat yeah just in a safe spot the jesse james catch that was reversed and not called a catch against the pats that was about the closest i ever came to destroying a house I wish I knew. I think I know what you, you're talking about, but I don't think I do know what you're talking about. 2017, battle for the number one seed. It's a week before Christmas. Steelers are hosting the Patriots. They're both, I think at the time, 12 and three. Ooh. The winner of that game was going to you know, go on to be the number one seed in the AFC, have home field advantage throughout the whole thing. Who so, won the Super Bowl that year? The Patriots. <laughs> no, wait. No, the Eagles. The Eagles. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, that hurt as bad. Yeah, that was the uh, that was the the Nick Foles. What do they call that? The reverse thing. Dilly buddy, uh, dilly dilly, or whatever. Where the Philly <laughs> Philly, the Philly special. Oh, yeah, where they did that. Um, yeah, th that. And so, yeah, it's the week before Christmas. Ryan Shazier had just been paralyzed two weeks before that, <laughs> and a lot of emotions running high. They had, and they, you know how now ESPN does like when that it's a big game and they do like their version of college game day randomly they'll go it's like such a big nfl game that they'll do sunday nfl countdown from the site oh they do that every week no 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 or it's just like, like randomly for, like, for like three like that kind of a matchup so oh, they did shit. that for the steelers pats they were you know 
countdown, countdown was from in Pittsburgh. It. it was a 425 game. Romo, Nance on the call, like everything. You know, I mean, this is going down. Mm-hmm. So the Steelers are leading. Two minute warning. Tom Brady takes him down. Gronk absolutely eviscerates us. Scores a touchdown with like 50 seconds left to play to take the lead. All right. So we're like, fuck. So then the Steelers get the ball back, of course. You're dialed in, dude. You're First, not even sitting on your couch at this point. Oh, you're, hell no. I didn't like sit for the whole game. I didn't sit for the whole game. <laughs> Joey watches a Steelers game. <laughs> Just in game. a wall sit. Yep. So first play of the ensuing drive. You know, we're starting on the 25 because it's a touchback. Big Ben just throws a little like drag route to Juju. It was like it was just like a four yard drag route, just dragging across. He was honestly yeah. like the safety outlet. Throws it to him. He goes up the sideline. Somehow like the Patriots don't tackle him. Like they, you know, it was one of those Weird. where like, like guy like thinks he's going to and then he doesn't. So Juju's just streaking down the sideline do all of a sudden. Now. So we're set up. We're like, oh my god, this is gonna happen. Very next play, Big Ben throws it to Jesse James. He catches it, goes down. He reaches for the goal line, crosses the goal okay. line, goes down. The ball kind of bit of bit of. That's that game. Kind of like that Des Bryant thing. Kind of yes. And I went absolutely ballistic, <laughs> dude. If I just had surveillance footage of you. Thank God we and Rye were just dating at the time and she was not there. Whoa. Thank God. Oh, she wasn't there. She yeah, was you guys would Florida, not be married. And she even like they were watching down in Florida at her grandparents and she like, are you okay? Question yeah, mark. Like, <laughs> she, she messaged me and she's like, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? If you don't want to talk for a while, I understand. Wow. <laughs> A while and I, four years later <laughs> and hey I, i'm good i said that's Not really this i i want to marry this girl because she she knew and wasn't trying to like be in it she was just like my i just saw what happened even i know that sucked i'm sorry <laughs> Do you have homeowner's insurance? <laughs> <laughs> the next text, dude. The roof is just ripped off of your house. <laughs> Deck just shattered to pieces. And we always we still joke about this, dude. So, <laughs> so we're watching, right? And all my whole family's standing up, obviously. And that play happens. And I'm, I'm pissed at Gronk at the time because Gronk was like, you know, he's being a dick, right? And he was celebrating and kind of taunting so and everything. And so, and so when Juju's streaking down the sideline, I'm jumping up and down, just going, suck my dick, Gronk, suck my dick. Oh my and my mom's God. going, and my mom's going, she, she gets in on the chant, <laughs> no. suck my dick. Your mom, <laughs> no, my mom was just like, go Juju. Like, yeah, this is all happening. Oh, it was unbelievable. Then he had Romo on the call. It was like, oh, Jim, I can't believe oh, they're going to, oh. Like, it was, oh, this place is rocking, Jim. <laughs> oh, dude, I fucking love Tony Romo, man. <laughs> Just such a guy's guy on the call. I know. I like, I mean, you're giving him shit a little bit. And sometimes he is kind of hard to listen to because I'm like, just finish your thought. But at the same time, yeah. it is cool. Yeah. I like him. Just like your homie, just in there, like announcing a game all of a sudden. Because every like, there's so often, you know how like a lot of you know, like Troy Aikman or you know, he's such a pro. Like he's going to commercial break and you're just like, yeah, doing a real nice job. And Dallas is up by seven, and then it's like going to commercial like smooth. Romo is always like, <laughs> oh, we're gonna get. Oh, Jim, that's, uh, well, he tried to. Uh, it's gonna be tough, and then it's like going. To the I commercial. like that a little more. <laughs> I like it a little more raw. Like, like, uh, kind of like amateur. Well, tell us what happened here, Tony. Well, you see, he's looking at it's, it's, it's just, it's, 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 yeah, <laughs> I don't know, Jim. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Anyways, that was, um, so that's I looked back at my Steelers fandom. But, um, uh, you were talking about you and Taylor Rye Swift at T Swift. Anyway, so yeah, so Riley has obviously always been a huge Taylor Swift fan. And so being together for six years now, like, you, you hear more and more of it and then you get into it and you're like, oh, wow. Yeah. Like, you know, I always knew kind of just like the T Swift like hits, but then you get into the, you know, the, all the rest of her music and everything. And man, it's just good shit. And she puts on such a show, man. Such a performer. Really? Oh my God. Yeah. She have like costume changes oh, in there? Dude. Like, between how many songs? I've never really been to a, like a concert like that, <sighs> bro. Like in an arena. Oh man. I mean, it, like, it, was, it was the most unified powerful crowd i've ever been a part of what do you mean like everybody was just like on the same page same page everybody singing you the cry? song at the same time i cried because <laughs> i because i would have like i just I if cried. you said so, no i'd be like bullshit oh no, yeah so 
Okay. <laughs> I would have cried seven so times. Me and Rise, our first dance song was <laughs> Lover. First dance song. Oh, at our wedding. Okay, I bet. I thought you danced at the concert, which You're I my, would. My, my lover. Ooh, big cry. Oh, big we were, we were, cry. Get the cry out. We got it out because she came out and she did Lover first. Shut sorry for sorry for spoilers if people are on, you know, going to see her on tour or anything. She but, might twist it up, though. Well, she might, but like she started out. So it's called the Eras Tour. So she went through all of her different oh, eras, man. all of her different you know albums and everything. And so she started with Lover. So it wasn't chronological or anything. And that's the name of the album. Mm-hmm. Name of the album is Lover. But then a song on there is called Lover. <clears throat> and so that was her third song was Lover. And we got the cry out early. What was the first song? Cruel Summer. And that's like a that's a heater kind of. It's a it's it's a bop. You know, yeah. She, she, <laughs> she uh, said that so like casual. Hey, no shit, man. Like it's a when, bump. when, when. So she had, <laughs> she had obviously huge screens, and like there was a clock that was counting down. Once it hit two minutes, it was a two minute warning, and literally it was counting down all the way until it got to midnight. You know, so you knew when she was coming out. So then the show starting. Show started at like, midnight. <laughs> no, like oh, on okay. the clock, and like oh, the hand was okay, going okay, around. Okay, then okay. once it started, and so. I mean, I'm like filming because I wanted to have it. You know, I'm like watching, but I'm also filming it. And I like I had a visceral reaction when like the uh, the reveal happened and she was just there. And all of a sudden she was in performing. She's right in front of us. Like I got chills, man. I kind of like welled up a little bit. You're like, whoa. I think on my video, you probably hear me. I'm like, holy shit, there she is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. It's like, like one of those, dude. I mean, you know, it's like Taylor Swift. She's not even a real you're person. In the presence of yeah. God. And there she is. And then she did love her third. So we were crying through that. Um, good cry. But then everybody was dancing daily. You know, dude, once it got to like, she had a four stretch, four song stretch. That was just like, I mean, it was a fucking part. I literally looked to ride and I was like, now it's a goddamn party. <laughs> <laughs> I love that fucking moment. <laughs> this is what we came here for. <laughs> it was like, dude, she was just fucking. She had blank space, and then oh, all of a sudden, no. and then all of a sudden, shake Keep it off. Coming. Oh, dude, shake it off. Shake it off was the best three minutes of my life. I bet it was dude. unbelievable, bro. I, I bet. Oh my god, everybody! It, I felt like I was, you know, like. Um, <laughs> You know, at the end of a movie when like they're kind of doing the credits, but they they keep like it's still in the movie kind of still fun, you know, like a song's playing and like they're, you know, maybe like at a cookout and they're kind of like tying up loose ends of a, you know, and the song's playing and they're like, yeah, so I guess this is, I guess it worked out. Exactly. That about. was what that was like. I felt like, because everybody's on the same page. Oh, he did. He and went I was like, star. I'm like, like this is it. the credits. Yeah. The credits are happening yeah. right now. That's very specific. I never miss a beat. Dun, 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 dun. You know, everybody's kind of like looking at each other like, yeah. Oh, dude, it was so, it was, it, it was unbelievable. It really was. I mean, all time, all time stuff. You know, the lighting, every, you know, the, everybody had wristbands. They give you a wristband when you walked in. And so for what? Just because like, because like it would light up. It was like coinciding with the show. So like, Jesus, you know what dude. I mean? So you look around and like during, uh, cause baby, now we got bad blood. Oh. The whole stadium was red, you know, flashing. Oh, dude, it was, it was unbelievable. So cool. God, the best crowd I've ever been a part of probably the best live event I've ever been to. And that's including the 2020 national championship in New Orleans. Jesus, because at sporting Swifty. events, because at sporting events, everybody's it, a dickhead. everybody's a dickhead, and everybody's on a different. <laughs> everybody's a cock at a, <laughs> at a football game. You're just like, ah, who do I kind of want to punch? Right, everybody's just everybody's so tense. Everybody's looking to fight each other, throw a beer at somebody's head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Taylor Swift, you're trading fucking friendship br- bracelets. You're all just dancing, you know? Oh, like, that's like a big thing was the and bracelets. Everybody, everybody is just like, everybody's singing, man. Like, there was times where, like, Taylor, you know, I was like, I paid for a fucking sing-along just because I could barely hear Taylor because everybody was on oh, the really? same page, you know? Was it kind of annoying? No, because during those times, it you're was a party. So yeah, you're having so much fun. It's sold out? Been sold out? I mean, yeah. Not even why it's uh, they try to get tickets, you know, night of. Yeah, we, I showed up. What? It was no. like impossible to get tickets. 
Did you go? Hey, no, so my, my two sisters already had tickets. Yeah. Me, my brother, and my sister-in-law, we showed up, like, basically trying to get tickets. Trying to scalp. Like, we were clicking, like, the app, and there was just, like, a th- there was thousands of people ahead of us trying to get tickets. Like, it was impossible. Did you end up getting in? No, we were, we. I would have thought like you, though, and been like, I'll get one. <laughs> no, we, uh, we kind of <laughs> like scammed our way into the arena. <laughs> Wait, did you? So you got in? We got, we got in, but like there was a gate, like we weren't in the arena. We were like, oh, uh, kind of the the side. So you, we could see the screen. Like we were almost, the yeah. vibe was kind of there. You're halfway there. But. Yep. No, it's, it's good enough. I mean, Diet that's good tickets. enough. Yeah. It's, we, I kind of had a freak out because I got, <clears throat> we were in the lower bowl. But we we're the last row of the lower bowl. And so we get there and we're looking for our seats and we're in row 37. There's only 36 rows. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, I got scammed. What the hell happened? Did I get scammed? Did I buy my wife a Christmas present? Oh, dude, Did was I, she freaking out a little bit? Like, no, she had no idea. But I was internally <laughs> freaking out. There's no 37. There's no, yeah, and I, yeah. And I was like, is this, I was like, is this fucking standing room only? You know, I was like, they didn't even say that. I'd like, be down with that. Well, I mean, we ended up standing yeah, all the time anyways. Sitting. Right. But, but it turns out, dude, that they made it to where like you know uh at at arenas at the lower level like when you get to the top of the lowest level they have like the walkways and the pavilions where a lot of time you know folks with disabilities who have wheelchairs mm-hmm. or whatever they sit that was row 37 so we we did have seats so it actually worked out perfectly because we weren't like in stadium seating like shoulder to shoulder with oh, people we kind of on our own yeah oh I, i'm always so jealous of a handicapped spot bro i'm <laughs> like oh yeah i mean you know you give and take there um but Sure, dude. So it worked out really well. It was amazing. Um, yeah, that's that's the sum. That's a summary of it. What were you saying about like a firefighter thing? Mm. Thank you for reminding me. So the next morning, we're in. Uh, so my parents came with me, with us to watch Frank, and so they stayed with Frank uh, Friday night while we were at the concert. And so the next morning, we're all going, and we we're just trying to get coffee in in downtown Cincinnati. And so we're in this little uh, neighborhood of downtown Cincinnati, real cool, kind of like a, a fountain square-ish, you know, type of neighborhood. I like it. And we're at a coffee shop. And we're sitting outside and uh, this fire truck goes by and we're, you know, Frank's looking at it and everything. We're like, look, Frankie, the you know, fire truck. And he's kind of getting excited and stuff. Oh, yeah. Kids love trucks. Right. It's loud and it's red. I still, it's really, right. You stop. And I watch. see a crane. Yeah. I'm like... <laughs> Who's up? Is there somebody up there? How they get up there? Yeah. What are they doing? What are they carrying up there? Are they putting a they putting a pipe down. How somewhere? high is it? How is thing <laughs> not falling down? Where they, yeah, where are they putting that huge pipe? <laughs> and so <laughs> we, we we wave and everything, and the firefighters are you know they kind of oblige, and I think they kind of honked for Frank, and so we're like, oh yay. So then about five minutes later, the same fire truck comes back around. Oh, no. And we're like, oh, man, look, Frank, it's a fire truck again. Fire truck comes and um, we're waving and we're like, oh, man, they came back just for Frank. That's so nice because they saw this baby and they saw that how much he enjoyed seeing the truck. And this dude in the back of the fire truck, this fireman leans, leans his head out the window, just goes, Johnson. No <laughs> way. Yeah, they slowed down and he's like, Johnson! Are you the guys in there were pointing and they honked and I was like, oh, this guy! No, and I was like, what they, uh-huh. dude. It was, that's so funny. It was amazing. It was so cool. <laughs> and of course, like, Rye and my mom were kind of laughing and a little pissy because they were like, here we are thinking that it's just because we got a cute baby and love they just it, know dude. you for your stupid I shit. I love it. I was like, yep. It's always the biggest idiot. So I'm like, <laughs> Johnson! I'm like, I love you, man. <laughs> a fucking guy in a fire truck saw you. That's a that's a perfect. That's our demo, dude. Fireman. I was like, please, yeah, please. I hope you, they just listen to these guys, you know, for the twelve uh, uh. hours that they have to just be sitting inside their firehouse and hanging around. <laughs> it was great. Hey. Slowed down and everything. Like, mate, it meant a lot because like they, <laughs> this dude made the driver come back around. <laughs> Circle the block. Circle the block. We got to see Johnson. <laughs> we got to see Schmitty. Where the hose at? <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah. So shout out to uh, that fireman and that fire crew out in Cincinnati. Um, I didn't get the the truck number um, or anything like that, but uh, I appreciate you guys. Super cool, dude. Yeah, we gotta we gotta rip uh, Johnson and Schmitty soon, just for the firemen. Johnson and Schmidt's fireman episode. (laughs) 
Should we get in some mail time? Can we please? All right. Dude, today, oh, 4th of July. Mail time. All right. This is from Tommy. He says, help settle a debate. Oh, yes. Ben and Joey, glad to hear you guys riff on the Grandpa Priest confession story. My buddies and I were listening to one of them and wanted to write in again to see if these guys would help settle a longstanding debate. It's going to be a tough one. In college, my family would get me B-dub, B-dub, Buffalo Wild Wings gift cards for Christmas and shit, and I'd use them when my three other buddies and I would go to B-dubs. Uh-huh. One time, I only grabbed one card, and one of my buddies said I should have grabbed another just in case. I said it was probably enough to cover us, and it turns out it wasn't. He was pissed that I didn't listen to him, and it wouldn't have hurt to just grab an extra card. But my argument is that I didn't even have to pay for them in the first place. This has been a debate in the group for five years now. Help us decide who's in the wrong. Thanks. Tommy, Nick, Al, and Roland. Whoa. Who's in the wrong here? Well, I mean, so your pals were saying, like, they were just expecting you to pay for their beat-ups because you have gift cards? It seems like he was kind of flaunting around the gift card a little too hard. And then when it came down to the bill, he was like, oh, no, I'm just paying for me. That's what it feels like. His friends were like, oh, I thought you had a gift card. That's that's why you were saying that. So if I had a gift card and we were going out to eat, I probably wouldn't talk about it beforehand. Mm. You know, yeah. When it came to pay, I'd probably be like, oh, I had a gift card. Mm-hmm. You'd be like, oh, cool. Nice, but if yeah. beforehand I was like, yo, I got a gift card for B-dubs and we go to pay and I'm like, no, I'm not paying for yours. It's mine. Mm. You'd be like, damn, dog, why'd you bring it up then? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking why'd he brought it up. And then he's like, card. oh, I didn't bring the other. Because it sounds like it was they're running around trying to get out of there. Bring the other gift card. Yeah. So I think homie's in the wrong. So dog, probably, you like your friend some beat ups, dude. <laughs> probably enough to cover us. And it turns out it was. And he's pissed I didn't just listen to him. I mean, <sighs> This is interesting because this honestly sounds like a like a marriage argument. You know? Dude, this, like this sounds is, like some shit I go through every day. This is something that definitely me and Rai, I'd be like, no, it's going to be fine. And then it's not fine. And then she just stares a fucking hole oh, through my soul. Oh, bye. You know? And, and then I'm like, damn, I should have just grabbed the extra card. Yeah. So I'm always <laughs> conscious of that. You know? Plus, it's like I hate when <clears throat> you do have a gift card and it's like <laughs> you have to do that shit with the waiter where it's just like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much is on this, but like, you know, and then they come back and you're like, all right, well, you still 1864. And you're like, okay, so, um, not shit on 26 (laughs) cents on a gift card. I guess that saved me on the tip maybe. Um, yeah, so I do hate when that happens. Ben says, Tommy, that you're in the wrong. (laughs) I think he's in the wrong. I'm going with Roland. I say, I say you're in the wrong. You're rolling with Roland. Rolling with Roland. <laughs> I has to have a podcast called that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'd say you're in the wrong for not just being like, yeah, it couldn't hurt to have it. You know, like that's tough to Bring just both, be so dude. stubborn about it and be like, no, this will be fine. Cause you never know how much is on a gift card. And like the most that you're getting on a gift card is 20 bucks. And who is eating for two people, maybe not even just one at B dubs on 20 bucks. 25 is a standard amount on a gift card. Okay. Every yeah, time. So, boom, so 25, if you're getting 50, like you got a rich grandma or yeah, something. Yeah, that's but no, like, I never no, got a $50 gift card. Those ever. are inc- crazy, dude. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah, one one like sitting down and eating at B Dubs is how much? Like forty eight dollars. I would know. You're the B. I know. You what, get beat like up. How many people? Like it's just you. You're starving. You haven't eaten all day, really. It's like dinner. It's like around like I don't know nine thirty. You're just going crazy at B Dubs. Oh, how much? Dude, I mean, dude, twenty eight, thirty bucks. Yeah, yeah. You can go crazy. For what are you getting? <laughs> Especially because I know why it probably smashes Dude, wings like an animal. Not not just not like, in public. <laughs> eats them in private, closed doors. Not just you know the. I can probably get away with a snack size because I'm like I'll do a snack and then wedges and the snack always ends up being like eight wings and I'll do the wedges and everything. And that's that's enough to hold me over. I know why it's crazy ass is probably like nope. Give me the fucking large whether it's like twenty wings. Yep. That whole boneless. Mm-hmm. I don't want anything interfering with my chicken. <laughs> that's, that's it. Twenty boneless. Oh, I, I get, but they, I, I don't think you're stopping sauces. there. I don't think you're four stopping sauces. There. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you ever five, get five, 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 hey, five. you ever get some like just on the side, just in case you're a little hungry? <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Wow. So you don't even mess with wedges. You're just like, nope. I just straight up want my wings. No. I, well, I get twenty uh, boneless, and then I and usually get a side of fries. Ooh, okay. Just fries. Just, just, just a little party. A little party. That's on the weekend. Though. 
Ben hasn't God. been to B Dubs in 14 years, so <laughs> he, he has no idea. All right, hope that helped. Tommy. It's a sticky ben place. Rolling and now, uh, all right, from Mike. Boys, great show, always funny. I listen to your pods while driving. Cool. When you talked about the seating arrangements while watching the Super Bowl, I was laughing so hard I had to pull the car over. Wait, wait, wait. Thanks for all the laughs. What was that about? <laughs> <laughs> like where you sit during the Super yeah, Bowl? Yeah, the setup at the Super Bowl. <laughs> oh, uh, you know how there's always like the person who's trying to be t- way too into it at the front that you don't really want to talk to. Yeah, you know. But then you have the the mom that's also kind of to the side Sitting on the well, side that's trying to have a conversation that's everything but the girls game. are on the side. And you're like, hey, come, oh, girls really? never sit in the front. Uh, do you not realize what's going on right now? Yeah, you, you know what's going to happen, though, so you just let it slide. Like, you guys are going to do your own thing. We know that during the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You then you got the, the fans front and center. Yeah, but it's like you never, you're never at a Super Bowl party with people who are fans of the team in the Super Bowl. Yeah, never. Wait, has that ever happened to me? The last, I'm, I shit you not, the last thing I would ever want to do if the Steelers are playing the Super Bowl is go to like a family friend's Super Bowl party. Ew. Are you dude, kidding you'd, me? You'd be a train wreck at that thing. I'd be like, get him in his own <laughs> environment. I wouldn't let you go. I'd box you out the whole time. Yeah. So that's to your I'm, security the whole time. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. No, no, don't talk to him. So that's what makes it weird too is like, you know, there's so many other things going on with the Super Bowl, <laughs> and you disgusting. have the representation of all those fucking things at the party. The yeah. moms are talking about the commercials. The guy who's fringe football fan is like trying to ask you questions about shit you that's say, blatantly you obvious. Fringe. Fringe. Oh, I thought you said like there's a foreign guy there that's trying to like, you know, somebody brought out like a foreign guy and you're trying to like explain football to him because, you know, random shit like that happens at football parties. You're like, fuck. That's what I'm saying. It could be. So a first down. It could be French or fringe. Either way, the guy's like, (laughs) so French guy. So this Mahomes guy, he's he's pretty good, right? You're like, he's only the best player in the league for the last five years. Yeah, Yeah, dude. Yeah, no, he's pretty solid. You're no, not you supposed to be that. here. Right. Like, I, dude, you, yeah, you're, you are my wife's girlfriend's fringe boyfriend or French boyfriend. And I don't want you here in the first place. You so. can never really get the, uh, the party atmosphere right with the, with the personnel group. Like, even if you have like four of your friends that are like dialed into the game, it's also kind of like a train wreck, you know, like four people that are on the same page. It's, it's always kind of like, I don't know. Is he into this? <laughs> You start thinking about the other people. You're like, I don't know. Is he having fun? That's just me. Anytime you're around when we're not like recording something. Oh, really? I'm like, oh, fuck. Nah, don't worry about me, man. Because I'm doing that for you. <laughs> <laughs> but like you at a Super Bowl party is my nightmare. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. I mean, it's you don't like to worry about me. I'm just like, I'm the dog that doesn't have to have a leash and I'll be there. It's my know? dream, but it's also my nightmare. You know, it's like, it's oh. so fun, but I'm like, man, you just never know. What he's feeling, where he's bouncing around to. I'm feeling good. If he's I'm there, get out of there. Like, what kind of time? What kind of clock is he on? You know, because Ben yeah. time is a whole different. You have a whole different watch than everybody else, bro. It's funny. <laughs> ben time <laughs> might have to dip. I don't know. Yeah. I'll be in the yeah. back though. I do all, all the back. Always I'll make the rounds. The I'll make the rounds. I'll sit up front for like. <laughs> For like 14 minutes, I'll be in the back, like eating a lot of like dip and stuff like that. Like, God, the fucking bets guy at the Super Bowl party. Shut up. I don't know where that guy's sitting. I think he might be in the middle, honestly. Don't care about your props. Bets guy's front and center. And he's talking Jesus. about it. Jesus. He's talking. Oh, yeah. No, I saw that. Had to hammer it. Had to hammer it. I don't even know. I can't even. Can't even relate. Absolutely hammered it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right, <Bad> guy. <laughs> God. From Walker. You take the over. <laughs> it's like take candy from a baby. Had to hammer it. What are you talking about, man? All right. Title These MF Guys from Walker. What's up, boys? Love the pod. This email will have nothing of substance other than the fact that yes. Joey seems to really enjoy golf. Fuck yeah, brother. Please get Benny to play around with you. I'd pay $497 million to watch that content. Love that <laughs> random number. <laughs> you Anyways, knew what you were doing. 
Anyways, keep it up. Clubhouse seems to be growing, and I look forward to these guys dropping every Tuesday. Put a cork in my ass and kiss me. Yeah! Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year! <sighs> Champagne. But uh, we should... We should do a guys who golf. Have we done that? Champagne. I like how you had to like clarify that for us. <laughs> <laughs> no, we haven't because I can't get you to a golf. Course. I'll do it. Hey, dude, if we're making a vid, I'm, I'm there. No, I know. I always wonder about that because I'm like, you know, if I want to make a golf video, do I have to go schedule a tee time? You know, like, am, am I scheduling a tee time to get out there and like be on the course just to do that? Because. You're probably not using all 18. Just one. Just well, one literally, hole? If you're in and out on the... Yeah. But you, you, so you got to pay 50 bucks for just one hole? So would. Yeah, I know you would. I would too. Are, you, I'm like, are you thinking about sneaking in or like just asking them? Cause they, you would have to you would have to either know somebody who like runs the front desk at the yeah. golf course or they would just you'd have to get lucky and have it be like a cool college kid that's just like oh okay right on yeah i don't care like you gotta have a cart in play you can't you can't walk in there and get the guy who has the polo shirt tucked into the khakis jesus christ that guy that's my final boss worst enemy that guy at a country club not a chance that's happening work in the merch store he would look at you like you have six dicks coming out of your head no 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 not here Maybe at Riverside or something, but you not wanna, here. Wanna, not on my. You want to do what now? <sighs> Always just kind of has like a, a lot of mumbling. noise going on. Never oh. completely silent. Always. Oh. Yep. A lot takes, of that. <laughs> takes a big old deep breath. <laughs> <sighs> Got a nose whistle going. Sucks the, sucks the air through the teeth. That kind of breath. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have that happen here. Any guy with a tucked in shirt, I'm kind of. <laughs> really? I've been tucking. Really? I've been tucking. In tucking my... and fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I've been tucking in my joggers. Like I, I'll, I'll tuck a t-shirt into my joggers. Like when you're like in the morning or because something? Because I hate when I got too long. Like you have to be going for a certain look to have a shirt that's kind of longer and baggy. You know, if you have like black jeans or, or jeans yeah. on now and you have like a, you know, kind of a longer baggier shirt. All right. That's kind of, you know, you know, a look going, but like if you're just wearing gym shorts and you have a t-shirt on, that's too long. That's weird ratio. I just tuck it in. Yeah. I feel you. I got to see it. Joggers tucked in shirts. My next family, week. my family gives me, a lot of shit for it, but I'm like, hey, I like it. I feel more comfortable. So you with joggers tucked in shirt and a coffee in your hand <laughs> and a hat on. Come on. <laughs> uh, thanks. Not Walker. fucking and tucking. Appreciate that. And we will uh, try to take you up on the four hundred ninety seven million dollars uh, from Daniel. This is titled Cleveland. Uh, we had a conversation about Cleveland last week. Follow up here. Hi, fellas. First and foremost, I enjoy listening to your podcast when I'm in the car because it's like I have my friends riding with me, goofing off and talking about sports and silly things in life. Hell yeah. Secondly, you have to come to Cleveland. You could do a show at Hilarities on East 4th Street. Please Ooh. let me know first if you do so I can get tickets. Definitely will. And also pop up college game day on East 4th. These are plenty of bars right there. <laughs> that dude just scooted by plenty of bars right there. That would make it perfect. And obviously make sure uh, to have some PP to draw the people in. Pull pork. Oh my God. We're not doing it without PP. That's also where they posted up for the NBA finals. I agree with you on the Browns assessment. My dad grew up in Pittsburgh and I still have some family that way. So I was raised a Steelers fan. I've been to a Steelers Browns game in Cleveland and 80, 20% comment is accurate. Got hit up a Cavs game though, because they have a young talented team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They need to go to Johnny's little bar for a good dive bar meal and experience. If you need any other thoughts or recommendations, please let me know. I love living here. Hope you have a great 4th of July weekend. Yours truly the mayor. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> what so, else is going on some, with the economy? Somebody from Visit Cleveland listens to our My show. It's like, hey, write them, man. Write, write, write in our Yelp review for it. Holy hell, bro. No, nah, I'm just kidding, Daniel. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. I appreciate, appreciate the... Uh, <laughs> I appreciate you listening and, and, and glad about that, but that is pretty funny. Yeah, it's just like straight. It's like the second paragraph. That was crazy. Dude. Second paragraph on Visit Cleveland. It's just that. He just <laughs> he copy and paste <laughs> the whole intro. Great young team, young talent. <laughs> Johnny's Little Bar. Yeah, that sounds pretty fun, though. That yeah. does. Hilarities on East 4th. All right, I get down with that. Sounds like a fun place. I heard that club was 
Very nice. V nice. Really? But any bar called Johnny's, anything called Johnny's, I'm going. For some reason, Johnny's house, Johnny, yeah. just the funnest guy. <laughs> Johnny. Yeah. Such like a movie character name, you know, it's so basic, but also such a movie nah, character. Johnny. Yeah. Or TV. Yeah. Just a character on television. Johnny. Kind of a Johnson-y guy. Yeah. I had a Johnny growing up, but he didn't fuck with me really. Why? He would always, he would do the thing where like he would invite everybody over from the class and I was the only person he wouldn't invite. Really? Yeah. What'd you do to him? I, he just didn't like me, bro. <laughs> That's so cold, man. Yeah. When you're younger like he that? He would literally have yeah, like fuck Joey. everybody and I would be the only one who didn't get the Were your invite. friends like, why didn't you invite Joey? No, nah, man, my friends, fuck, like, I'm kind of pissed. They were just like, hey. They stick up for they you. They were like, it was like that gif of 50 Cent when he's just like, ah, and like takes off in the car. That's what it was. They were like, oh. Nice. They are like, nice pull. Yeah, they are like, oh, you're you're not going to Johnny's? I'm like, I didn't get, I didn't get invited. And they're like, oh, well. I don't think my friends would do that for me either, though. They didn't give a fuck. They were just like, hey, I'm invited. So. Hey, get your shit together with Johnny, and yeah. we'll see you there next year. <laughs> they didn't give a shit. <laughs> they got the invite, so fuck me. God, the FOMO you had growing up. that There's nothing compared to that. Yeah, so, you know, you, I, didn't have, I didn't have the best. I didn't have the best Johnny. I didn't get that Johnny experience. I don't think I even had a Johnny, honestly. I met a Johnny recently. It's pretty cool, though. Nice. From Dustin. Steelers right. fan. You, you dig? Good. Let's see here. From Dustin. What's up, gentlemen? Question for these guys. I definitely do not hate the show. I have rated it 10 out of 10 on my notepad, and I use my ballpoint pen when I scored it. I have to admit, I'm feeling pretty gonky. I just got finished with my 2024 fantasy football mock draft and prepping for 2025. Wait, I'm really? I'm going to Jerome Bettis my league this season. Anyways, I have a hypothetical for Joey. I can't ask my girlfriend hypotheticals anymore because she doesn't like them. Oh, shit. <laughs> Joey. This doesn't sound healthy. How much would it take to pay you to play one more celebrity slow pitch softball game with the same guys from last year where you went in the yard and retired, but during the first at bat, you intentionally whiff on your first swing and pretend to hurt your back from it and then declare yourself out for the game. You'd have to pretend like it was real and never <laughs> tell anyone except your wife that you did it for the money. One million? Ten million? What's the minimum amount it would take for you? <laughs> Thanks, brethren. Keep up the championship level play. This is crazy. From Heavy D. <laughs> Man, I don't know what's going on there, Dustin. Uh, <laughs> what, <laughs> what time did he send that? Did, were you like coked out when you... <laughs> <laughs> what time did he send <laughs> that? I don't know. 2.24 a.m. It just it says June 30th. <laughs> <laughs> what the Bro, fuck was he I on? I don't know what was going on there. I appreciate you listening. <laughs> But that's about it. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I don't know if he's like, because a dude did that. What? Like the first year I was playing that game. Uh-huh. Uh, Jason Gilden. You remember him? Yeah. Yeah. Dude. 92, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was playing and like he literally struck out in slow pitch softball and he swung on his third you know, third swing when he struck out, he like went down with an injury and like hurt like his at back the plate? or something. Yeah. Oh, Okay. And like we were all for a second, we were all kind of thinking it was like, a, oh, he's just playing it up because he struck out. And then it was like, oh, no, maybe he actually is hurt. <laughs> and we're like, I also, would. you're Jason Gilden. You just struck out a slow pitch softball game. <laughs> Come on, bro. Hey, JG. <laughs> Let's loosen up a little bit for the game, huh? So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it could be a bit. But if you want to pay me a mil, I could do that. No problem. No problem. A mil? Um, all right. So it was uh, mail time. Team these guys at gmail.com. Appreciate you and the clubhouse. Absolutely. Ask us anything. Um, what are you, are you doing? Are you going to a pool for the fourth? I don't know, man. I got nothing right now. Really? Nothing. Nothing? And I love it so much. You're going to be at the wit 100%? Nah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Might be just be a chill fourth. So you mean you're going to like, I don't know, throw your chill fourth, probably listen to some Lincoln Park. <laughs> Eat, eat something that has nothing to do with 4th of July. Spaghetti. What I've done. <laughs> Lincoln Park slaps. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait to have so many hot dogs these next couple days. Oh, the, it's the it's the ones on the 5th. The hot dogs on the 5th. <laughs> that just are killer. 
You know it. Of course you can't eat. You, I mean, they're good on the fourth. Can't have a hot dog on the fourth. Oh, no, Gotta they're do good it the on the fourth. Day. They're good on the fourth. But on the fifth, it's like, yeah, the bread's kind of like a little, a little soggy. <laughs> You know, you ever get that hot dog in the foil the next day? Oh, I love it. And it's like the the bread's like part of the hot dog. It's not. It's not two <laughs> things. <laughs> the bread. Yeah, it's yeah. almost like a corn dog. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's the hot dog oh. with, with the with the ketchup on it, and you just you put way too much on there Dude, with the mustard. I fucking I do. I love two bites. I love <laughs> max. I, I love the. Uh, I love the aluminum foil hot dog. The there's foil no. hot dog. You show up at a party and oh. they have foil hot dogs. So, uh, You're like there's 600 of these things happen. Like there, these there's are going so many down. people. You kind of think you're Joey Chestnut for a little bit. Uh-huh. You're like, I could. I, if yeah. I wanted to be Joey Chestnut, I could right now. I see now. how he does it. Yeah. You're like you're dunking it. Oh, damn. Uh. Though. You know what? I might do that tomorrow. I've been watching like some hot dog shit on uh-huh. on like it's popping up on my TikTok. Okay. The way he's dunking that shit in water, so gross. It kind of looks good now. No fucking if way. If you did Shut it, up. if you did it in Coke, I can see that not being too bad. Like on some weird shit, you know. What? Obviously, I'm not like, hey, happy fourth. Like Bro, I'm not yeah. doing that right when I walk in. You're so right about the bun. It needs to be fucking cradled around the dog yeah i hate when the bun is like open and flabby and the dog's just kind of in the middle and you have to like squeeze it together it's uh, just i'm that like means this the, isn't the bun that means the bun is kind of like too yeah, new. crusty a little bit it's like yeah it doesn't have that same warm feeling it's got it's got to be a little soggy for me soggy buns soggy buns soggy buns gang soggy buns fourth right there <sighs> soggy buns on the fourth all right man um well, I appreciate everybody listening. Hope uh, you have a fourth, uh, a good fourth of July, safe fourth of July, fun fourth of July. Hope you get to listen to uh, this while you're on the road or on the boat, or because apparently I'm the only person, me and you are the only people who aren't on a boat or on a lake um, during the fourth of July. Uh, yeah, so I appreciate you guys. Team these guys at gmail.com. Love the clubhouse. Love you guys. Hope you have a great holiday. Keep sending emails. Yeah. Go to Joey's shows. Oh, yeah. Tickets are available now for the first three um, August 2nd, August 17th, August 22nd. That's Columbus, Ohio, Fort Wayne, Indiana, and then Cincinnati. And I uh, appreciate Andy and Quack Daddy Donuts, of course, uh, for bringing us some Fourth of July treats. And coffee. Get in here, say what's up, and, bro. Uh, yeah, you got a message. You're you got the quack. You you're the say? quack zaddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What? Uh, what are you telling the folks? Yeah, I can buy us in Westfield. 161st in Spring Mill. All right. Yeah. 161st what's your fave? What's your fave donut? What kind of stuff are you creating in there? Uh, probably chocolate with peanut butter drizzle. Big you better stop. Three. You better stop. I'm bricked up. <laughs> bring, we've got donut sandwiches too. Shut up. Uh, what? What happens? So they with are that? the subway of donuts. It's gonna be kind of like a come down here. So I, I wasn't sure if it was gonna be. Good still by the time I got down here, so I wanted to get you a fresh one. But yeah, come my on, man, oh, I'm coming go. through for a Sammy. Shout out to Quack Daddy. Thank you so much, and man. Andy, and uh, to you guys, have a good fourth. We'll see you next time. These guys. Bye bye.